Now, dinosaurs may have gone extinct roughly about 65 million years ago. But did you know that anoles, right? Anoles, those little lizards you see in all over the Caribbeans and, you know, green anoles in your backyard if you live in America, have been on this planet for a whopping 90 million years. Well, at least like, you know, ancient ancestors and their contemporaries and, you know, ancient stuff, you know, science, yeah, science. But that puts them in a very interesting situation, which means anoles survived the very same asteroid that wiped out most dinosaurs and then left the ones that did survive to turn into birds and other cool thing to well anoles anoles survived it you know they're ancient contemporaries and all that fun stuff survived it evolved and did all that stuff today so in the day's video you're gonna be learning about three of the most ancient looking reptiles that are all anoles by the way, that are going to well shock you leave you asking questions and so we're gonna learn about some of their ancient history folks now after that very fun and exciting intro, we're gonna get straight into it and we're gonna talk about the giant Jamaican green anole or Anolus grami. And yes, to those who are asking, that's the one on the thumbnail. Mind you, it's a highly edited one with Photoshop. But these anoles have a crazy look. And I mean, they're one of the few anoles that just feels like something straight out of the Jurassic. But also, these anoles have been officially recognized as anolus grammy, you know, their own thing. They've been known about by humans for about 140 years now. You. Now, now, folks, now, mind you, I've only been around for 20 of those years. So, right there for me, they're already a relatively old animal. But don't worry, we're about to get really old. But on Jamaica, anolus grammy represents one of the largest species that likely split from the closest relative several million years ago during the island of uh, unique anole rate radiation which basically you know app rapid diversification that's what that word means you know ammo goes here and they start boom 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 making all these different subspecies locales and all these crazy fun things but folks let me say a word i know i can't you know pronounce which is mone molecular phologen it's, it's on the screen by the way you know, they suggest that Jamaican anoles, including Anolus grammy, the one we're talking about, have been evolving independently for about roughly, right, roughly, mind you, they're still whoa, 10 to 20 million years. After that very fun part of the video, we're gonna be do moving up, we're gonna be changing. I'm doing what I do best, which is bastardizing anole names. Now, our next anole, which one we're talking about now, by the way, now, is Anolus gins a lazi. Yeah, it's it's on the screen, and that's their common name. I'm not even gonna attempt that one. Yeah, holy, yeah. These guys and gals stayed hidden all the way till 2013. What the first real sighting where they captured the first specimen was all the way back three years ago. That time being 2010. These anoles are relatively large. They're one of the crown giants over there, aka you know they're like what well, we have a pupa with the uh, luto glares and blue beauties and all that. But if you ask me, they they're bulk they're they're bulky animals, but they have a really rounded face. Like it's just round. I, I don't know how to explain. I mean, you're looking at the photos. Tell me what you think. Am I am I pulling things out of a hole or something out of a magic hat? or am I right? You know, I'm, I'm curious, let me know down below. But folks, 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 these anoles just aren't anywhere in the world. You know, they are endemic, folks. That fun word only means they're found one place, at least where they're supposed to be. You know, there is no records of them being in the picture, and I don't think it's even legal, by the way. And I don't believe there's any zoos that have this species. They, yeah, they're all in the wild, I believe, at least legally. They're pretty much only gonna be found in the Highlands of Western Panama. Real fun place, never been. Maybe we'll go and go catch them because they have a lot of really cool anoles over there. But again, time for me to mess up their name. Anolis Gasolan. It's on the screen. It's most closely related to Panamanians, Highland Giants, like Anolis, forgive me. My Fructadis and Anolis Ibizel. Yeah, they're they're on the screen for a reason, folks. Now to talk about the very ancient history theme of this video, what they are literally right next to South America, where you know, 60 to 50 million years ago, early anole ancestor migrated from South America into the Caribbean, likely 
uh, islet hopping and drifting on the vegetation raft. So say, you know, like a tree breaks down and a hurricane comes, and those are on that tree, guess what? They but whoosh. Kind of like what happened with that desert iguana and the Fiji iguana. Very interesting stuff. But, you know, they're not from an island. They're right next to these, you know, where most of these knolls well, started off at. So one thing I'm curious about, I'm sure a lot of people in the scientific world are interested about, is what kind of mysterious secrets do these species have? What kind of secrets do these Panamanian giant anoles carry within them? They are some fascinating creatures, and I'm sure if you look hard enough, there's some really interesting stuff going on in these animals. People, you know what time it is? It's where I, I shed all my, my, uh, my, my, um, I don't know, word guilt, uh, shame, I guess, and I beg you for subs, so, this video, please sub, like, share the video to all your friends, I'd love to see this video pop off and get a lot, and I mean a lot of views, I want to get monetized, folks, so I can do more fun stuff with YouTube money, I don't make any money, but I put money in this. I'd love to see this turn off and we can do fun stuff. Trip to Cuba, anyone? I would do that. Yeah. Now, our last anol definitely takes the whole cake for being the most prehistoric looking, which is, you know, the Cuban false chameleon. In this case, to be more exact, we're going to be talking about Anolis barbatus because I don't feel like holding my red throat baby. So, so jumpy at this age. But as you look at this animal, he has a really blocky head that is the quite literally the same size as his body width wise, which is somewhat uncommon when you look at a lot of animals in a massive jaw. We'll talk about why later. Then they have all these beard spikes here, collars, big bulging eyes. This animal is quite literally ripped straight out of an, um, the old school little dinosaur movies made with clay and, at least I think they're made of clay. You know, like the stop motion ones? Straight up ancient looking animal. They definitely are after we start talking about them. Yeah, but what do you think of this animal? Am I being lazy or am I actually gonna talk about them for a unique case? Just look at them though. Very ancient looking creature, very interesting, all this and that. Now to finally get more into the, no, you cannot jump. Now to get more into the educational side of this fun part of the video, talking about boop, the Cuban false chameleon. Now the Cuban false chameleon is also interesting the fact that they're on null, but they technically have their own clade, which is Chameleonis, the Chameleonis clade. This is a group that has been, you know, evolving independently for about 25 to 30 million years ago, which is very interesting in the grand scheme of things, because this is making them one of the oldest specialized Cuban and Null lineages that has diversified into multiple species that and we have most of them in the hobby believe it or not the coolest one we surprisingly don't have in the hobby sadly now in that time frame i mentioned earlier with the 25 to 30 milli right these anoles have been adapting getting more fur fine to be snail crushing giants they're one of the most strangest anoles on the planet with that strange look that makes them look prehistoric these guys are going to be known to be snail crushers almost exclusively in law. They will munch on fruits, other insects, and occasionally a lizard that can't fit in them, but that's extremely uncommon if you ask me. But going off that, twig anoles are typically one of the smaller groups of lizards. They're like, whoosh, real tiny little guys. And well, obviously they're, you know, they're, they're not that big. Well, I mean, you know, twig anoles are averagely relatively small and this is a twig anole by all means. I mean, how they use the forest, what they do on the tree, they are a twig anole in essence. And Anolis barbatus is relatively one of the smallest ends when it comes to the chameleonis clade. So really interesting anoles. I think they definitely take the whole cake when it comes to that prehistoric look. I mean, just look at them. Like, do I need to say more? Like I, I said a lot already, but do I need to say more? But yeah, you know, it's a fun video. I really enjoyed it. I hope you watching learned something. I know you did, in fact, because who talks about anole evolution like the way I just did today? And if you want to learn more about anoles, how about you sit down, watch that video where I bust some of the most common anole myths and just deep dive into them, you know? I, I think I spoke about how someone thinks uh, green anole and brown anole are the same species. Let's just say I disproved that in a very fun manner.